combat within cities. We've lived that in Ukraine, no question about it, maybe less so in Israel, but the level of combat, the nature of combat on the Lebanese border, how is that different than what we see in Ukraine? Well, I think it's more comparable to the difference between what we see in Gaza. Gaza was city fighting inch by inch, block by block, house by house. Lebanon is more of a uh, maneuver war, even though it may not look that. The, the Israeli army is trying to take land and it's trying to find uh, underground subterranean missile platforms more than they are trying to actually go against terrorists. Everybody knows that uh, Hezbollah is, has lost its top five tiers of leadership. So it's not really an extremely effective fighting force anymore as a large organization. The great threat to Israel is those missiles, are those missiles. They, Israel wants to get its people back into the north, back to their uh, houses, and they can't do that without taking the Hezbollah rockets. And for the most part, those rockets and missiles are south of the Latani. And so it's more of a maneuver sweep operation inside of Lebanon right now, where it was true city fighting mm. inside of Gaza. So, General, with that background, how do you believe the Israelis will retaliate to against Iran? Because um, that's kind of, I think, the next step for a lot of observers. Sure. Uh, it, it's actually pretty clear on how. Uh, the real question is when. I just got off of an Israeli station where we're having that conversation. They've taken off the, the target menu uh, oil installations and nuclear facilities, probably for many, many good reasons, as well as political reasons to take some pressure off the Harris campaign. But uh, that menu still has a whole lot of entrees on it. You can go against uh, infrastructure, you can go against military targets, uh, you can do inside of Iran, uh, continue what you've been doing inside of Iran, which is targeted assassinations. The purpose in the mind of Netanyahu is not to defeat or destroy, but is to reestablish deterrence against Iran so that Iran knows that if it ever does attack Israel again, the pain that will be inflicted upon them uh, will be so harsh uh, as to deter them from doing that. That's what he's trying to do. He's not trying to take land. He's not trying to destroy. He's not trying to defeat. He simply wants to set up a deterrence structure that had held since 79 and had been breached in the last year.